Hey everyone, Genome here. Kind of chill with my next Hearthstone video. I've been playing a um, little bit of Control Hunter that I put together uh, as of late. The uh, deck isn't great or anything, and I just started running with it, but I got, I'm getting a little bored with some of the other decks a little bit, so I wanted, I always try to make a control deck of what I'm working with. So just a real quick um, brief overlay of what I'm working with. Let's see if I have any numbers yet. I've been mostly playing um, non-ladder stuff, but we'll just go over real fast. Uh, right now, Candle Shot, it's just a good control tool, Flare, you know, Card Draw, and Secret 8, whatever, Mystery Winners. Nothing really too. Uh, Malcolm of Deep is one of the fewer in the newer cards that I'm using, um, and it's not bad. I kind of built this deck around Rot Nest. I was like, wanting to do something with the Rot Nest Drake. Um, been a long time since so seeing any play, so it's kind of a, a dragon package too. But on the lower end, a lot of um, board control things. Prospector's Caravan's a little bit ambitious and probably not needed, but whatever. Um, I don't want to go with the standard stuff. It's a Reno package, of course, so you're always going to stick uh, Zephyrus in there. Blood Scalp is one of the uh, pretty questionable cards in here, but I've always liked the card quite a bit, so I just included it. Uh, another one that's been kind of underperforming is Dire Frenzy, but uh, when it works, it works, and it works really well with uh, something I used to use ages ago in some of the old videos I did. Um, where'd it go? Uh, vicious scale hide works really well with that so and then you have um uh, where was he stitch trackers to hopefully pull those out when needed they got uh phalen for some late game a little bit of dredging here with the weapon um harpoon gun which can be pretty good with uh hydrolodon or whatever that is and uh I and the druid one's also a beast too so uh, there's a few beasts to be had there and when they're super cheap they're not too bad uh, like I said, nothing really amazing here. Like I said, Kazakhstan on the top end with the Reno package and, you know, just a tiny bit of burst with Crush and all that. So let's go ahead and go on in and take our first spin. I actually had a pretty good run of uh, luck with this deck. A lot of wins in a row, which is kind of surprising because this deck is a little bit wonky sometimes. That's nice, it just works. <laughs> I threw away the Blood Scout, but you almost never get to activate and <laughs> let I pull two weapons. Okay. Blood Seeker is another pretty iffy inclusion, but I've. It's. Almost taken over games in a few instances, so some people don't seem to know how to play around uh, these honorable kill cards. Um, I'm just gonna hold here. Candle Shot can have pretty good use later um, with Varanus too. Two card kill anything basically. Well, at least one big minion. All right, so. Might use to seeing that out of Paladin. Okay, we will do King Shot. Let's take only three damage instead, right? I don't think I've ever seen that card in Random Paladin. This could be interesting. This is going to turn into the Guy Smasher, I guess. There's another card that I have... Um, I have steamrolling games with this Dragon Bane shot. I know they just nerfed it uh, to hurt Quest. I would never play Quest, but uh, this card has wrecked some games, man. I've had games where I've actually used this on three, and I think I've kept it the entire game. Like, it's just refreshed itself so many times in my hand. Wow, they're definitely going hard on the Death Rattle package here. I like to see Reno, though. So that frees up quite a bit. Let's play uh, the board control game for now. You can um, treat this as more of a regular hunter deck and just go for straight damage. Don't worry about uh, Deathstalker Rexar. Keep your old hero power. You got some top end with Crush, but I prefer more of a control play style. So. Fun fact, too, I did not realize this. 
uh, earlier, I had a, um, uh, I can't remember where I got it from, the Anixia raid boss Anixia out there, and she's only immune when there's whelps on the, on, on the, on the field. This actually counts as a whelp. So, because I had already burned all her whelps, and then I had thrown this down because I got this generated. I think I had her generated too. Threw it down, and it counts as a whelp. Um, that was just a fun little fact there. Now we know. And knowing is half the battle. I'm just going to draw a card here. I am not sure what I'm facing here. It's almost seeming like a um, surprise burst deck with, I can't remember what was the name of that card. Well, let me, let me do my turn here. Um, Could play the Colossal next. What do I have out there? I want to get some dragons rolling. I can play it now. <clears throat> Oof. Um. All right. Nefarian. Such a shame. Such a cool piece of art, and such a cool character and card, but it never get never got any play. Shervala. That's right. I couldn't think of it. The Shervala OTK. I wonder if this is that. Deck. They just threw some death rattles in there to get us a little closer to under 25, but I don't know. <clears throat> no, this might be just a basic deck. I haven't seen that card in so long. Kudos, though, but here is. No. There's a chess principle that says if you find a better move or a good move, stop and think and find a better one. <laughs> and that would be a wise decision. But this one's like one of those perfect times for Dragon Shot. And I do have um, uh, Reno in hand, so or Dragon Bane Shot, excuse me. Let's go ahead and get us a secret here. See what will work for us. Sure. He hasn't really shown... He already burned one equality, so he hasn't really shown a way to clear this board. I would say I'm fighting like a, a new player, but he's obviously completed some of the reward track and all that, or maybe just purchased or I don't know. But, well, that makes things more complicated, but. Help me much. That didn't really help me at all. But we're gonna throw a bear out there. Harpoon was tempting, but one good thing um, is the. I don't know if I have what my other two um, colossals are, but the uh, demon hunter one's actually fairly good against this hero. <clears throat> Four damage per turn. Wow. That I didn't want to see. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to switch over to control big time now, I think. Um, I could Varanus this, but I think I'm just actually going to... Um, Alex Straza. Maybe I'll get Zeph and I can get a weapon break. An 
Okay, it might be time to heal here. <laughs> Much as I would like to do something else. Okay, so do we have a 4 damage? No. This might be a long game. <laughs> Though he does have to get this board under control, even taking half damage. Seems like he might have been a better thing to do brawl before. I think it's going to limit what Zeph is going to give him here. I need my Zeph, by the way. This game would probably be over if I did. <laughs> you know, I must admit, Zeph has been acting pretty wonky lately with some of the choices. It's, it's cost me a few games here and there. <laughs> Okay, so what do we got here? I'm not going to commit too much else to this board. So what do I got here? Uh, okay, two, two. So we got five, six, seven. Here's what I wanted to see. Get these relics to the hold. Not my goal. I hope he doesn't have holy maki roll. <laughs> Oh, you know what? What did it? I had lethal, didn't I? With crush. This is oh no, because I had weapon swing, so no, no lethal. But do I have lethal now? Let me think about this for a second. Let's go here. Um, go here. I don't have enough room for all my stocks here. But I don't think it's going to matter. Um, a valiant attempt. All right. <laughs> that was a match. <laughs> I don't know. Some of the other cards were a little bit strange, but... This deck has some legs. 